Hey everyone! Once again, thanks for joining us for our Planoly Instagram Planner 101 workshop, where we'll cover everything you need to know to get started on planning your Instagram content like a pro on Planoly. Whether you're a brand new user or have been planning with us since day one, you'll walk away with the perfect planning flow and knowledge needed to maximize all of our features for planning your Instagram post. Let's get started! Planoly's Instagram Planner has different views that you can locate on the top navigation bar. You have the Plan View, Drafts, Discover, Analyze, Comments, and the Shop Link add-on view. Let's start off on the Plan View, which will automatically display once you open your Instagram Planner. On the left-hand side is your Grid Planner. We pull 18 of your most recent posts from your Instagram Grid, that way you can plan right on top of it. Right above your grid planner is your story bar. On the right side is your calendar. This displays your previous posts that have been posted from Planoly where you can also see your number of comments and likes. It will also display your upcoming schedule posts as well. Your calendar can also be viewed by month or week. Highlighted in gray is your quick schedule suggested times which you can customize your own or enable your suggested best time to post by clicking on this settings icon. In this settings icon, you will also have the option to adjust your post analytics like comments and likes display on your calendar view. And another cool thing here is you can enable our Planoly social calendar, which will give you access to upcoming social media holidays, global holidays, and upcoming Planoly events right on your calendar view to strategically plan your content and tasks throughout the year. Now let's get into uploading. You can either drag and drop your content from your desktop to your grid planner, or select Add to Grid to upload content from your device album, placeholder, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Instagram shareable link. You can select a single file to upload or bulk upload. To upload a multiple carousel post, go ahead and click on the multi icon, and select the files you would like to upload. You will see the multi icon on the top right hand corner of the post indicating that it's a multi carousel post. Here you can also arrange the order of your multi post in the way you'll like for it to be uploaded to Instagram. Once your content has been uploaded, you can drag and drop the content on the grid planner to arrange your on schedule posts before scheduling them. You can batch edit your photos with our filters feature by clicking here and choosing the post you would like to add a filter to. There are two ways to schedule your post. You can click on the post to schedule or you can drag and drop your post to the calendar. Enter your caption here and add your hashtags. You can select the hashtag manager icon to access your pre-saved groups of hashtags to easily paste it into your captions. Select edit to access your editing tools like crop and filters. Pick a time and date to schedule your post or choose a quick schedule time. And now it's time to post! You have the option to manually post via Planoly push notification or auto post. If you have an Instagram account, you can authorize your account with Facebook to access additional features like auto posting, comments, analytics, and more. If you have auto post enabled, you'll be able to toggle your auto post options here and customize details like location, user tagging, and first comment here. Click Save to save your post. Now that we have some on-scheduled and scheduled posts, we'll show you all the different ways that you can view your grid. You can view it by the on schedule tab, schedule tab, or the all tab. Your all tab will show you both on-scheduled and scheduled posts. Now onto the icons on the post. The pink U icon indicates that it's an on-scheduled post. The blue S icon indicates that it is a scheduled post. The blue S icon with the paper plane indicates that it's a scheduled post set for auto posting. Need to share upcoming posts with your client, coworker, or boss? Now you can in an easy and efficient way by using our plan reports feature. You can send a preview of your grid planner by selecting get link to copy the link for your plan report or select email to open a tab that allows you to enter in multiple email addresses to share the plan report. On the top left hand corner of your grid planner, you'll be able to click and switch to your Stories Planner. Here, you'll be able to plan your Instagram Stories and schedule them. 
select Grid to go back to your Grid Planner. By the way, you can also spice up your stories and customize templates by downloading our Stories Edit app by Planoly, available for both iOS and Android. For more information on our Stories Edit app, visit www.storiesedit.com. Now let's get into your drafts view. You can hover over your images to select and to move them to draft folders. Your drafts are located in your drafts tab. If you have a lot of uploaded content, our drafts feature is a great way to declutter your grid planner or stories planner and organize your content for the future. Once you're ready to move your posts back over to your grid planner, you can hover over your folder to move the entire folder to the grid planner, or you can individually select the desired post and click move to grid. And the same goes for any content made for your stories planner. Now they're there. On to our Discover view. Discover allows you to view content to regram posts by searching for users or hashtags. We also provide free stock photos to post to your Instagram account as well that can fit your feed's aesthetic when you're in need of content. Click the post or free stock images you would like to share and click on Add to Grid to add them to your grid planner. On to your Analytics view. The analytics you see depend on whether you have a free Planoly account or a paid Planoly account. With a free Planoly account, you can only view specific data, while a paid Planoly account unlocks premium analytics, giving you a deeper look inside your Instagram metrics. On the left, you'll be able to see key stats on your following, post engagement, story engagement, and your content performance totals. On the right side, you'll find information about your audience, your content engagement, and below that, you can sort through your best performing content by different metrics. You can always refer to this information icon and hover over it for details on what each of the metrics mean to your engagement and analytics. Your analytics can be viewed by week, month, year, or you can choose a customizable time frame. Next, we have the comments inbox view. You will be able to manage your comments with the ability to view and respond to them here. Select a post to leave a comment and press enter to post your comments. A great way to manage and keep track of your engagement is by marking your comment as read. You can also star individual comments. Finally, our shop link view. ShopLink is an add-on that you can purchase in addition to your paid plan that allows you to create a shoppable gallery that mimics your Instagram grid. And you can use it for tagging products or add a redirect link in your Planoly post to drive more traffic back to your site. With ShopLink, you can make your Instagram feed shoppable outside of the Instagram app via link in bio. For more information about our ShopLink add-on, you can visit our blog where you will find additional things like best practices, news, downloadables, and more. P.S. Did you know that we have a referral program? The Planoly referral program allows registered Planoly users to earn credits by referring friends to Planoly. These credits may be applied at checkout towards future paid plans and add-ons, like ShopLink. You can get your very own referral link by going to your account settings and selecting Refer a Friend. Copy your link and share and start earning your credits. And that's pretty much it! Now you're officially ready to start planning like a boss.